it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be back on Clover Creek. Uh, I just finished loading up the save game, so we're going to go ahead and get loaded in here. Oops. Get everything set up. So we want this guy on. We want this guy on. This guy can sit. All right. So, uh, if you saw yesterday's video, it was a time lapse of finishing the harvest, uh, the wheat harvest. So we have that all done. We have a total of one hundred nineteen thousand eight hundred and fifty-eight liters of wheat stored, and so we are just going to head up to the dealership and go get the corn head. Uh, and bring that back and we'll get started on corn harvest Get our uh, hazards running. I don't think this thing has beacons Nope <clears throat> So we will head on over there and get our uh, corn head So yeah, um, I did today just start a save game on a map I downloaded today. It's like a logging map. And so I might uh, do a series on that too. Uh, I tried loading the truck. Tried. Kind of failed <laughs> loading that truck. Uh, I tried putting two logs on it, but uh, it just was not having it with the way that, uh, with the way that, you know, because I was using a payloader to try and load these things and, it just was not having it, so um, gonna have to make some equipment adjustments. Uh, I downloaded an excavator that had a grapple on it. Uh, the first day reviews logging stuff is nice, but it is way too slow. Uh, it only goes like six miles an hour, and you know I have to drive it a long distance, and that would suck. So. Um, I just figured, well, I will, uh, see if I can find something else someplace and download that. And sure enough, I found one, uh, there on, I don't even remember what mod site it was. I just googled FS15 log loaders and, you know, see, to see if I could find something. Sure enough, I did, so that's nice. So yeah, it took about an hour to finish off that wheat field, um, but then after the time lapse, it turned down to about a half hour. Um, so I did add music. Yeah, it's from non-copyright, no copyright sounds, so it isn't you know the greatest music ever. But um, I can't add you know normal music to it, otherwise I'll get too many copyright issues. And with the amount of songs I would have had to add, you know, there was four full songs there. And, you know, like the first maybe minute or so of one. To add, um, you know, normal, like, country music and stuff to it, I my video would have probably either been muted or blocked in many countries and many places. So, um, I'd rather just put uh, kind of dumb music instead of uh, worry about issues with that so here we have our corn head <clears throat> we'll go ahead and grab the uh, screenshot of it here I'm 
And we will head on down to the field and we will get combining. Get our hazards back on here. Let's see. Is there a different route we can take? I don't know if that's exactly much faster, but let's just take a different route just for the heck of it. Just for a change of something. And it's probably not going to be any shorter, but it will, uh... It will be a change of scenery. I'm just trying to figure out how... Ah, okay. Got it. So I guess we'll just kind of go through town a little bit. I haven't really explored on this map a whole lot. But uh, once I finish recording this video here, I will be um, playing on this save on this map on a different save game to test out the uh, beef on here because eventually I'd like to get into doing beef on this save game so um, you know I it does not show in the store here for me beef you know there is one there for one dollar but I'm not sure if that's correct or not or what but uh, just try that out and see what happens. So this is our turn here. Let's see what's this sign say here? Riser, riser, green, something like that. Not sure. Okay, so we need to go until we hit a gravel road on our left. We got one coming up on our right, but we need the one on the left. So I think right there is a hog farm. Pretty sure. Maybe that's beef. What's this say? Uh, that's pigs, yes. Um, so then beef are down there. Or maybe, maybe we have beef at our farm, too. I don't know. I don't know if there's multiple farms that have it, or just the one. I'll have to try that out as well. And also, maybe try out the pigs, even. I'll have to see. Right. So now we will head on into the yard here and we'll get ready to combine. Keep doing that. I keep hitting the wrong button. So we'll go ahead and uh, start with this smaller field over here. Actually, no. Yeah. <laughs> Need to make up my mind here. So we'll just do a couple of headlands, and then, uh, then we'll just go up and down from there. Hmm. Why is it that my chopped straw is not working? I do not know why that won't work. I wonder if I maybe delete a chop straw. Oh, that's right. I'm not using the one that came with it. Um Okay. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna go get the right chop straw and I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, and we are back. <clears throat> Got it fixed. Uh, I had to re download it off Mod Hoster actually to get it. I couldn't find the actual download that I originally had, so just had to go on Mod Hoster and find it. That's alright. Sadly, we don't have chop straw. Actually, I know of a way I can get chop straw. Ah, we won't worry about it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so sadly, we won't have chop straw on the wheat field over there, but I guess that's okay. I'm not too terribly worried about it. Just means that we'll have to put down uh, NPK, you know, a little more NPK on that field. That's all right. But uh, we are dropping chop straw now, so. Alright, so let's go out of cab here. Set up our row. Alright, there we go. Now we are good to go. So I'll just kind of go around one more time and, and uh, we'll be set to only go up and down. This corn doesn't seem to be yielding too terrible either. I think our stuff is pretty much the same. Um, actually, we have a little bit stronger acidity here. So yeah, we have strong acidity and good moisture and good, uh, everything except the pH is pretty good, so. So we're pretty good there. So yeah, we don't actually need to go around one more time. Uh, this field's open enough that we can just go up and down. Definitely a lot nicer inside of this combine than it is outside. It's a lot quieter. That's from where I was lining up the header before. So let's get that picked up. We'll get turned around and do it again. So we got four. There we go. So 
We're kind of missing some stuff, but I'm not uh, that worried about it. <clears throat> we'll get uh, straightened out here eventually. Now here, there's nothing to go off of. For the center, anyways. Can kind of line up using the edges, but it's a little tougher. We can always go back and uh, pick up whatever we missed later as well. Ah, I think I'm off. Let's see, so we got one. bit. There we go. Oops. Come on. And the uh, indexes on this header are a little screwy too. When you go one direction, they're the next row over, and then when you go in another direction, they don't want to go over a row. They don't want to go over far enough. Let's actually get set up with some GPS here. Maybe that'll help. Let's try this a little, I guess. Probably wouldn't be using GPS with this combine, but... So we're lined up pretty much perfect like this. So we'll go ahead and pick up our missed spots now. Let's see those are yes, there's some here. Alright, now we are set. We're actually off just a little bit, but pretty good otherwise. We're getting a decent uh, yield so far. After harvest, we'll definitely have to do a bit of maintenance on the uh, ground, so to speak. Uh, we'll have to do some soil management pretty heavily. We need to take care of our pH and our moisture and our NPK and all that stuff. So I'll have to do some looking, figure out what best ways are to do that sort of stuff, you know, would it be better to spray MPK or to spread MPK and, you know, just factor in the different things, figure out what would be the best options, what options would be the best, I guess. So 
So we'll get that figured out then. The dirt on this combine is definitely pretty fast. You see our header is starting to get dirty. But there's where our header should be. Just uh, raised up the header a little bit. So that way it kind of goes with the uh, level of the corn stalks, corn stubble. Oops. <laughs> so I have had a couple of comments before um, saying, you know, why don't you just do only one series instead of starting a whole bunch? And you know, I've had those kind of comments before. It's just because, you know, sometimes I find something else that I want to throw in. And then it's also not the same thing because, you know, a lot of times, you know, like for Oregon Springs, if I only did that map, you guys would have potato harvest every single day for quite a few days. And then I'd listen to people complain about, you know, getting tired of potato harvest and stuff. So it just, it kind of, you know, gives a variety of stuff. Some people like, you know, a series like this where I'm using somewhat older stuff. Some people like, you know, the big, huge stuff like I'm using on Oregon Springs, you know, and lots of equipment. Or some people kind of like, you know, a mix of medium and large on a somewhat medium map like Haywire Ranch. And, you know... Uh, I'm not going to be doing the Westbridge edit series anymore. Um, I personally have lost interest in that one. Uh, so, I uh, don't feel like playing that one anymore. Yeah, the main ones now will be this here, Clover Creek and Haywire. And then every once in a while I'll throw in like a Oregon Springs thing. Uh, what I might do, you know, I'm going to come up with an idea for a video schedule. You know, like what series I'll be doing what day. So, you know, like maybe Monday through Friday, you know, it'll be one day Clover, one day, di you know, however I'll set it up. And, you know, I'll come up with something for that come up with like a set thing for you know what I'll upload what day and that kind of thing so we're almost done with this little section here yeah before um, this wouldn't have even gotten like a quarter of a bin full on the combine before uh, spreading anything on it. I think these fields were actually worse than the wheat field was. I'm not positive on that. I can't remember what everything was when it started. Okay, so we'll just pick up this last little bit here and we'll move on to the larger field, or the larger section of this field, I should say. So we're just gonna do a pass right down the middle of this field think right 
here looks like a good place to start. And we're just going to split it wide open. Should have changed the uh, chop straw texture too. I actually kind of like this one though. It's actually pretty cool. It also has the uh, lime on it too, so that kind of gets thrown in the mix there. So I don't think we have a whole lot longer left. Nope. So then uh, once the video is finished, what I'll do off camera is I'll finish this field off and then the next episode we'll be working on uh, field, what is that one, field 37 over there. So we'll work on that one in the next episode. <laughs> I don't think that we'll uh, do any headlands on this. We'll just kind of turn on the road here. Just got to make sure there's no traffic coming. And I don't think there is any traffic on this map, actually. At least on this version. Uh, I think the more finished version uh, has traffic and stuff on it. I know it has a whole lot more stuff on it than this version does, but... That version is not public. Or even privately released. It's pretty much with uh, the creator and some of his close trusted friends and stuff. just do that and then this one I can delete because I don't need it anymore okay um, yeah so like I said off camera I will finish this field and then get uh, set up and ready for field 37 over there right that's 37 um, and then yeah so then the next episode will be on that field uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, make sure to check out down below in the description for links to my social medias, my mod site, as well as other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Uh, my PC specs and my upload schedule are also down there, so be sure to go check those out. Thanks for watching you guys, and we'll see you